There is so much I want to say and there are so many topics that I want to cover. I have an insight into a world of social media that I believe not many people are aware of in terms of how it works in advertisements, how I know a lot of other social media personalities and just how fake it all is. And I say fake because I don't think anyone has bad intentions. I just think they're caught up in it like I was. I have a whole career built around social media. What I'm doing scares the absolute fuck out of me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to happen next. I have no idea how I'm going to make money. And yeah, last night I got really, really scared because I was like, holy shit, I have all these messages, but how are people going to hear them? But then I reminded myself very clearly why I'm doing this. Taking myself off social media is a wake up call to anyone and everyone who follows me. I had the dream life. I had half a million people interested in me on social media, on Instagram, sorry. I had over 100,000 views on most of my videos on YouTube. To a lot of people, I made it. I was signed with, I still am technically signed with, and I don't want to model at all anymore, but I am signed with one of the biggest agencies in Australia. I had one of the biggest agencies in America want to sign me for modeling and for my YouTube. I had messages and messages of big companies, brands, sponsorships, on my hands and I was in LA and I was at a pinnacle of success in what I thought it was. I was dating a guy that was way more famous, famous than me, way more successful, had an amazing car, beautiful beyond words and he was fucking depressed. And I was like, what, you, you have everything. I was surrounded by all this wealth and all this fame and all this power and yet they were all miserable. And I had never been more miserable. I'm the girl that had it all. And I want to tell you that having it all on social media means absolutely nothing to your real life. And it, it might for a second, yeah, like I was, I was making changes in a, in a small amount to do with veganism, to do with um, uh, whatever, positive thinking. But at the same time, everything I was doing was edited and contrived and to get more value and to get more views, to get more, oh, I had all this in me that I just wanted more people to hear me so everything I did was for views for likes for followers I did shoots for like hours just to get photos for Instagram I would ha meet up with people and talk and connect whatever but just make photos for Instagram like yes I could connect with them but the basis of what we were doing wasn't just love and in nature and getting out there and, and talking about life it was social media which is now a business if you don't think it's a business, you're deluding yourself. If, unless you follow like very, very clean counts. When you're following someone and they have a lot of followers and they're promoting products, they are paid. Companies will email you with dot points of what you should say, with times of the day to post, with what you should do in the photo, with how you should hold the product or where you should have it in the background. Companies know the power of social media and they are exploiting it. But this is, this is, it's far bigger than any company or anything else. I quit social media for my 12 year old self. When I was 12, I told myself I meant nothing. That I was worthy of nothing because I wasn't popular online. I wasn't a model. I wasn't beautiful by society's standards. At 12, I obsessively stalked everyone that was that online. I looked at other girls who were models, who were beautiful, who were famous on YouTube. Um, they had all of this likes and all of these views and followers and I thought, damn, they would be so happy surrounded by all these people that love them and appreciate them. I want that. I want to be valued. I remember looking at the catalogue for uh, Billabong or Roxy, whatever the surf brand, that was what it was like really cool back then, that was like the ideal thing. I remember looking at pictures uh, of these models and then looking at my thighs and stomach in the mirror and thinking, do I look like that? How can I look that? I remember Googling models like centimeters of their waist and their thighs and then measuring my own to compare. At 12, I told myself, I would be of value the more views I got on YouTube. Or I looked at girls that had heaps of views and I thought, damn, I want that. I told myself that when I have heaps of views, people will view me. I will feel valued. I will feel happiness. I let myself be de defined by numbers. And the only thing that made me feel better about myself 
I don't think I was, I, I don't want to say I was depressed or had anxiety, but I definitely had all the symptoms that if you Google depression and anxiety, I had all of that times a billion. The only time I felt better about myself really was the more followers, the more likes, the more praise, and the more views I got online. It was never enough. You'd think getting 100,000 followers on Instagram would be amazing. Yeah, it was for the day, but then you want 200,000. You'd think having 500,000 followers on Instagram is like the dream, right? That's what I, if someone told me it's at 16 or 12, at 12, Asina, you're gonna have 500,000 followers on Instagram. You're gonna have a YouTube account that has 100,000 views plus. You're gonna um, have a big modeling contract. You're gonna have all of that. I would have been like, no, no, what? I would have gone crazy. And I'm quitting social media to tell anyone and everyone who's still watching, I was miserable. I had it all and I was miserable because when you let yourself be defined by numbers, you let yourself be defined by something that is not pure, that is not real, and that is not love. Likes, views, Followers, we are not followers. You are not a follower, I am not a follower. I spent 12 to 16 wishing I was this perfect person online. Then I spent 16 to 18 proving my life on social media, perfecting myself enough to be that person. Everything I did in a day was to be that perfect person online. There were shoots, styled pictures of what I was eating. I don't know, carefully edited videos on, on YouTube. I did everything in my power to prove to the world that, hey, I'm important, I'm beautiful, and I'm cool. But is making your whole day proving to everyone else that you're amazing, is that what, is that life? Proving yourself online? Taking pictures just in hopes to get likes and compliments. Getting excited over how many likes you got or how many people follow you. It's not life. And it's not what's making you happy. You want to be valued and loved, but you also want to be free. You know how good it is just to have a day and not think about anyone else, what anyone else is doing, but be with real people? I quit social media because of my 12 year old self. And I want everyone to know that. At 12, I was miserable because of the numbers I saw on a screen. And at 18, right now, tomorrow's my birthday, I'm 19 tomorrow. Uh, at 18, I was miserable as well, even when I had it all. I've met people that are far more successful online than I am, and they're just as miserable and lonely and scared and lost. We all are. There's nothing different between you and I other than we're s <laughs> other than I made it and now I'm at this point where criticism, comparison, praise, hate, I have all these opinions on myself and I don't even know who I am. I don't know what I stand for, but this is something I feel like for once in my life, I feel like it's real.